My research is about social inequalities in adolescent health, adolescent mental health mainly, and so social, it's about social groups. For instance, whether adolescents with a low socioeconomic status have a higher risk of these mental health problems than adolescents with a relatively high socioeconomic status. But it's also about other social groups, and uh, for instance, about adolescents with an immigrant background. So and then the basic uh, question is whether adolescents with an immigrant background have a higher or lower uh, risk of mental health problems. And in my research, I try to understand for which groups this is the case or how we can explain that. So adolescents have all kinds of personal uh, characteristics and family characteristics, but they also belong to different social groups. They come from different countries. They have different backgrounds in education and uh, family affluence. So it's important to, uh, to, to look at what that means for uh, adolescents. What is enough to have this effect? It's sometimes complicated to work together with uh, people from dis different disciplines. And I think mainly you have to uh, take time to get to know each other and to really make sure that, uh, that the other is understanding what you're talking about. So we always think that our concepts are clear that, and well-defined. And then we work together and then we find out, hmm, I'm not really able to really explicitly explain what I'm assessing or what the concept is. I also work in international projects and these are about also about adolescents and then about their well-being and their health and health behaviors. So that's research in 40 countries and uh, this research is very important. We all uh, every four years we work on a report together with, with WHO so that really fuels uh, the information for policy makers about uh, obesity in adolescents, about uh, the extent to which adolescents drink or smoke, uh, smoke or drink alcohol, are happy. So also this information is also important for uh, uh, the government, for the health ministries to really know, okay, do we have to change our policies?